morning, folks. Ooh, that's a beautiful ram. Same as mine. Oh, that, that does look nice. Mine. Ah, Saturday morning, and uh, we just got a call from our good friend Dan Hicks at uh, Bay Marine, and it sounds like the, uh, well, the first of the 25s has hit the floor. So we're taking you with us, and we're going to take a up close and uh, personal look at the uh, brand new 2025 Can Am Outlander. 101 horsepower, triple digits, boys. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nice truck. So let's take our first look at the 2025 Outlander. Look at that. Gen 2, Gen 3, side by side. XTs. Pretty awesome. 2025 Can Am Outlander. 101 horsepower. Dual overhead cams. Pretty cool looking unit. We're going to take this down back and get a good close look at her. We'll go over some of the new features, some of the changes. And yeah, man. I think it's looking pretty cool. New tail lights looking pretty sick. Really liking those when they get a rear halo developed for those, they ought to look really awesome. All right, Mutton, you got more work to do. Here we go with a whole new tail light, eh? Check out that exhaust. You got the center exit, that's awesome. And then we get down to, I think, the biggest change. Kind of reminds me of the old Polaris, but we're back to uh, the A-arm design, right? So how is it going to perform? How is it going to feel on the trail? You're still going to get that rigid, sporty feel, or we're going to be more cushiony, kind of like the Popos, right? So very cool. Clearance-wise, I'm a little nervous. I mean, as you can see on the Gen 2 right here, if we take a look, you don't have that A-arm, right? you got the old tried-and-true trailing arms. And if you look next to the frame here, that's gonna give you less drag, right? So you have a little more clearance inside both sides, right? Come over here to the new Gen 3 on the 700 chassis, tube frame, a little bit different. Then you're losing a little bit of clearance here and here for dragging with the, uh, the A-arm design. So um, obviously we've got more power, so that's probably gonna make a difference. Um, but that's my biggest uh, interest right here, is how is this bike gonna perform, ride, and feel um, versus the Gen the Gen 2s. Uh, there's so many cool changes though, uh, starting again with the exhaust, the tail lights. You take a look at this, or sorry, the tail lights, and yeah, the center mounted exhaust, but look at the size of the pipe. We're looking at at least a two and a half, close to three, could be three, not sure, but at least two and a half diameter we come over here to the gen 2 and you're gonna look and she's that tiny two inch right but uh, you can really see a massive difference in the size so uh, the heat displacement definitely looking to be more efficient on this new can-am so and also you'll you'll notice you got the old fuel bung there you got the sensor two prim chassis like I said you got their uh, 26 inch what are they trail kings hey eh? these are a pretty good looking tire equipped on the XT the, uh, the panel removement on these and access is a lot nicer than, than what we had before. Super easy going. Pop your seat, quick twist, panel, and you can just reach over. It's that easy, that quick. Just flick that up, grab that panel, bang. You're in, you're clean, right? That's pretty cool design right there. Gotta love it. And again, very easy to put them right back in place. Lickety split, push your panels in. You guys can see via my head mount camera. That's great. One hand, no fighting and pushing and losing rubber grommets. Pretty cool, snaps in there, very nice. Locked in, love the seat, feels very lightweight, like the texture, very nice. Change the battery location from underneath. They did give you a post 
right here you can boost off of but they've gone to uh access over here in the back corner underneath the fender as you guys could probably see right here and that's uh well i think they actually used to do that but now they've got a convenient little cover there you just pop that and you have access to your battery but again leaving you the post up here which is kind of cool gas tank looks like it's pretty much situated in the same manner as the last but um here's another really cool super cool feature check this out little cargo space there you can fit at least a dozen beverages in here i would say and uh the can-am locking system is pretty cool look at that if you want to take them on the go going for a little trip there walk down the beach some eh? take your beverages and your lunch with you very cool design very functional rack i like this i like it a lot actually I'll open that up i'll lock that back in i do notice that it feels wide um, the 700 did too as well. The fenders just seem flared out the way the angles go. Everything seems a bit fatter. And it definitely, this is feeling like a very soft ride. But this is the XT, so it's not going to come with the show of suspension. Things like um, integrated winch into, uh, into the hand controls. I love this. I think this is just very nice. It feels good. Again, I liked the feel of the buttons and the layout and the style that they did them on the 700. So I think this is a great upgrade for Can-Am. Everything feels very good. Um, again, with the fat though, hey, look at this. They're definitely gonna be more functional, but look at the size of those hand guards. Perform better, give you a better shelter and coverage for your hands, keeping them safe from branches, but um, a fat look to them, eh? Like this too, this is just gorgeous. There's so much storage room there. Yes, yeah. It's absolutely awesome. This is just going to allow you to keep so much stuff and gear hidden and organized in a nice manner. Again, the pod, like the 700, super easy to remove. Push in on this button. These sometimes you got to make sure they don't get hung up and they're spun in the right orientation. But yeah, that's super simple. Get in there, clean that effectively. Air box up top here. Again, opening to the top, highest point of the ATV. 700 design right so this is very functional again pretty cool though you can get in there good access wash things down through we like it we like it a lot simple locked locked front grill removable easy access into the radiator boys that's awesome love it this one here particularly the xt has the winch mounted in its uh well standard location down low where i like it the xmrs on the other hand do not they tried to keep it up and out of the mud so that's going to be a big change on that bike for this year let's just see where does this feed in not right there right there okay so two tabs up and in and they're a little forward right there so excellent snaps right in there and then up front here this is another very cool feature and it has a rubberized gasket so this should stay fairly waterproof protection um, I'm sure you could probably upgrade this gasket to ensure that but most phones are waterproof today like we were talking about and you've got your little USB type C perfect good spot for the phone a little bit of a foam pad to push it down to keep it from moving I like it I think it's pretty cool kind of reminds me of the sea -Doo. Um, and something else we haven't talked about yet is the primary clutch and look at you can't do that on a gen 2 let's just try let's give you a little yeah see you know she's fighting me you want to rock the bike you got to move the bike to get it to snap in gear see there once i give it a bit of a roll with my other hand then, then no problem it's called the can-am hump right we'll leave that neutral but you come back over to the p drive and uh just butter butter all the way so no more can-am humping it right that's very smooth, very nice. Also, you're getting the IEB intelligent braking control. So you got your three levels of engine braking right here and your ITC intelligent throttle control, right? And as well as your full locking front diff. Very great, you get all the bells and whistles with this unit, right? So at 101 horsepower, pretty damn cool. Really all we have left is to try it out. I can't wait to get one of these out and see what it's like in the mud. We got my brother's got one on pre-order. We got Nas Boss with one on pre-order. We got young Brandon, little Jim, we like to call him. 
He's got one on pre-order, so this is going to be quite the season here ahead. You guys are going to get to see all kinds of footage of how these new Gen 3s are working, um, how the P-Drive system is going to work, and then we get to uh, see together what kind of upgrades come along from our aftermarket manufacturers and options, right? So like this exhaust, for instance, will we get a center-mounted aftermarket option that can spit right out the center like that? It would look pretty cool. Um, I'm sure everybody's going to be hard at work between our friends over at SLG to RJWC, MBRP, Super ATV. Everybody's going to be all over this for uh, aftermarket add-ons. Faster than you can shake a stick. She looks pretty cool. Got a feeling she's going to handle a little bit more like the old Popos did. Really soft, really cushy. And then, uh, well, the added power just to give it that, that bit more extreme performance in the mud. Should be pretty cool. You guys probably won't have to wait too long. We should be... Uh, getting some XMRs in here soon. And like I said, the boys have all pre-ordered up. So you're gonna to get to see firsthand just how well these things work. I'm gonna take this down back, I think, and get some nice pictures by the lake because we have the opportunity. And it'll give me a slight feel for how the clutching's working and what that new engine feels like. Very cool. Okay. Fire in the hole. Super quiet, super quiet. So we'll just go down the hill, we'll grab some pictures, boys. Will not be too long. And this one here. And we should be good like that. Bike definitely looks and feels a little wider. Definitely the widest one I've drove out of these doors so far. Year after year, eh? We just keep uh, driving these bad boys out, checking them out, taking you guys with us. Just love the look of these tail lights. Let's check them out together here again. Now that they're lit up. I think you're gonna see some really cool aftermarket options here. This looks awesome. So, yeah, let's take it inside. Super, super slick. You got the high beams on. Bring them down, nice. Actually, we'll leave them on because they look cool, right? There we go, high gear. Oh my God, that's smooth. So smooth, holy moly. Okay, Cadillac feel. Certainly a Cadillac feel. Oh my goodness, this is going to be the softest, most comfortable ride today out of k and Give you guys a little decent sound profile, I would think. Right on, super quiet, super quiet. All the boys are saying she's super peppy, super powerful. Let's just try out the high gear. Double check, we are in two wheel. I like the buttons. I love the size of the monitor, everything looks great. Um, obviously not the new Outlander guys know all about it, but us Renegade guys really haven't tried. This P-Drive clutch is unbelievably smooth. Oh my goodness. What are we in, engine braking zero or what? DPS max. IEB medium. IEB minimum. Max. Okay, so this is going to give us maximum engine braking. Let's try it out. Super smooth. Holy shit. Oh, she's got some get up. No doubt about that. Good engine braking, we like that. Actually, that's great engine braking. Now the sound of that exhaust is super quiet, but low, listen to that growl. That sounds awesome. Like it. it almost feels jig brake like, eh? Super smooth. Wonder what the body weight is. How heavy are you? Well, I'll be damned. It does have a bit of that popo type feel to it. You can really feel the machine lunge and sink into the suspension. Mind you, again, this is the XT, guys, so it's not gonna have that upgraded sporty suspension that the XMR is gonna come with. Maybe even your XTP. We'll see what levels come with the uh, the Showa suspension and what doesn't, but... Um, wow, that's got some torque. I know we're on the asphalt, but my lord. 
She got roll. She got body roll. Oh yes, she does. Cool. There's none of that kicking it in with the clutch. You don't even hear the clutch engage. Check this out. From high to low, it's just there. Where's the clunk? None of it, my lord. Okay, so that was actually just regular mode. We haven't even touched the actual pep. Oh, oh my lord. Feel the pull. Oh, she lunges. Well, this ought to be pretty cool. Feeling this, charging into the swamp. Oh, she just wants to roast them. Oh, she does too. So this particular model with everything still stuffed down below, is gonna be a little more front heavy than obviously when you bring it up with your XMR, you're gonna hire a winch location, you got a higher radiator location. That's gonna offset some of your weight a little bit more like this. And I'm guessing that that machine's gonna pick up slightly easier. You can tell this thing is gonna pick up no problem when you get some traction to these back wheels. I'm actually quite blown away at that immediate torque and pull, my lord. Just feel that thing die. So again, we'll go back to our low low range now. I'm gonna get some of that uh, low end grunt. My goodness, they're not kidding. It's the smoothness of the clutching that really, really blows me away the most, I think. As far as the, uh, the aggressive lunging. Like it gets on it, but it's so smooth when it does it. It's kind of, I don't know, it's an odd feeling. You definitely have that, that, that diet with the, uh, A-arm design definitely gives you that dive. Still brand new, a couple kilometers on it. The guys have tried it, so we're already up to 77. I'm sure they're taking it up and down the road a few times to try it out. But yeah, she just wants to burn them, right? So low end, sport, this thing's gonna get down. There's no doubt about it. Oh yeah, just wants to spin them all day. Crazy. Take a look. Oh, see, I never even noticed these. These look awesome. Look at that. We have daytime running lights, LEDs running up the side, giving it an eyebrow look to the eyes on this thing. That's pretty cool. Very impressive. Look at that unit. That's a nice looking unit too, buddy. Yeah, go over the thing. Make sure everything is all right. Pretty wild, man. Like I cannot believe how smooth the clutching is with that P drive. Like there's no more clunk even when you you know when you're transitioning from gear to gear. What do you think of the power? Crazy. Yeah. It's almost like the torque is crazy. A lot of power is for ATV. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cushy. Pretty cushy. Let her go. <laughs> Super impressive. Very torquey, very powerful, very soft. I mean, this one here is obviously, again, like we said, XTs. They don't really have the upgraded suspension, but I mean, this thing is super comfortable and this suspension does work well for comfort. If you are looking for a soft ride, this is it. It does definitely have a lot of um, handling characteristics of the Player Sportsman. There's no doubt about it. Having the gearing so smooth like that, that's pretty impressive. And it definitely comes on hard. This thing's gonna stand up when it gets traction like nothing else, for sure. Love the tail lights. Just, just over the over the moon with the tail lights. Same chassis, 700, right? Tubular design, a really heavy bracing for the uh, the rear sway bar. 
exhaust super beefy to get rid of that extra heat that that's awesome access for your fuel pump directly right under here actually that's pretty nice that's going to be super easy to get in there and probably maintain your your filter so that that's cool very cool they've thought of a lot of cool things from these these new units stripping it down oh missed that one button on each side when you're pulling that off right so also very cool power dan you weren't kidding bud she's got a lot of power it's got a lot of torque look forward to really getting out on the trail with one of these and seeing uh what it's going to be like with that much stink holy moly it's coming on hard gonna get some pictures we're gonna get back to kingston we got lots of maintenance to do on our own we got a wheeler to clean we got a trailer to fix we got a video to edit we're a busy guy right now working lots of hours too so i have very short windows to accomplish all these things i think we've talked about most of the changes i'd love to know what you guys are thinking of the new gen threes um she feels fat she feels like a sportsman when you're on her uh, a lot of very nice amenities some very nice styling cues love the amount of storage that you're getting with the stock machine just awesome i do believe this is going to be an extra add-on right snap her together remove it pretty awesome pretty freaking awesome man that's great cargo storage so for sure throw that back in there all right guys that's our first look at a 2025 Can-Am Outlander. We're gonna open that back up and bolt that baby down. Locked, locked. Love the camo, it looks really nice. I really like the seat. It feels a lot more lightweight. I'm guessing it's not gonna weigh quite as much when she's soaked, so that's also very cool. Got a beefy bumper on her. Definitely does. All right, let's take her back up to the shop. Sport mode, get up and go mode. Comparing this to the XMR model should be interesting as well. You're gonna have a lot more bang off that low end, I think, off that, that, that quick engagement, right? So, should be very interesting to see how the clutch setup on that unit is versus this unit. Super quiet, super smooth. Yeah, we're gonna take her in and put her right back where she belongs. Nice wheeler, eh? Yeah. How much did one do it for? Um, that's a good question, actually. I'm gonna say... Let me know what you think of the comments of the new Gen 3. What are your likes, what are your dislikes versus the old Gen 2? I'm sure a lot of people are gonna prefer the trailing arm style versus the A-arm style, but then a lot of guys are gonna prefer the A-arm style versus the trailing arm style. Definitely a more rigid ride, definitely a plush, more comfortable ride. So more units to come, more models to come, uh, a lot of, gonna be a lot of different suspension components or uh, sorry, packages offered on the XXC, the or XMR, so um, handling wise, I expect a lot of the other units are going to be slightly different feel than this. Super soft, super plushy, kind of like the old sportsmen's, like the guys were saying. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers. Till next time.